I'm just going to make a second channel video on updating to CyanogenMod 11M7. Now, most of you will know how to do this, so this is just more of a, edu like a, you know, um, public announcement. Like, CM11M7 is out. We are on uh, M6 as of right now. So we hit the wrong combination, as I almost always do. And there's that, so let's pull this out. Just the easiest way of getting it off and then back on. And then we're going to hold volume up, home, and power. I almost always hit the wrong combination. All right, so recovery booting. You're going to see that we are on an older twerp recovery, which is like 2712 or 2701. Okay, so install micro SD. We're going to go to uh, open twerp recovery. HLSPR 2710 and swipe to confirm flash. It says right there that it's updating it, so we're going to go home, reboot, recovery. Now we should be on 2710 instead of 2701. This is dirty. Come on. All right, so yes, we are on 2710. I just Googled twerp, Sprint Note 3, and I downloaded the 4.4 since we had the 4.4 bootloader, um, and then 2710 zip, the zip, not the image, not the tar, the zip. Uh, you can download the, the tar and flash it with Odin, or you can download the image and flash it with like uh, um, r uh, Rasher recovery tools. He renamed it. So what I go to do, what I do is wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik, and cache. That's what you gotta do, Dalvik and Cache. So, wipe. And then go back. And go to install. And we are on the micro SD card. To change that, of course, just go there and press OK. And you'll see M7 right there. CM11, snapshot, M7, HLTE. HLTE means the Sprint, T-Mobile, for every single variant of the Note 3. So, we don't have to worry about downloading SPR, VCW, or anything like that. So, M7, swipe to confirm flash. And then, wait for this to boot up to finish here. Doesn't take long at all. This is like, this is becoming like seriously stable. Like, I, I haven't ran into any issues at all when I was using this as my daily driver. My daily driver right now is the HTC One M8 Google Play Edition that I'm using to record this video with. So, my um, I still have Sprint. Right now, I put I put my Sprint service on my Nexus Five because of Sprint Spark. I'm like, I live in Kansas City. I want to try out Sprint Spark. On Instagram, I posted a picture of me getting like 22 down. Um, so it seemed like it was working pretty good. As long as I'm not at home, my air just kicked on. So, and I'm in the basement where the the machine that does all the cooling is. So it's louder down here than anywhere else. This is why I flash like the monthly snapshots because I get so tired of nightlies like i i'm getting older <laughs> and i've been flashing roms since early 2010 so I, i'm getting tired of nightlies I, I i i stay away from nightlies whenever possible if there's a monthly snapshot or release candidate or stable version i flash that if there's only a nightly then i don't have really have a choice and i'll usually go a few nights without messing with it i'll just in flash the latest nightly and also, that's also a question people have, like, if I'm on monthly two, should I flash three, four, five, six, and then seven? No. Just just flash the latest one. So. We are almost done here. Alright, go to our settings, 
go to about it's still 4.4.2 on the monthly the nightlies are on 4.4.3 so if you really want 4.4.3 go to the nightlies but um build number nope not that one build date <laughs> this none of these say like m7 or anything like that there we go sign to my version m7 oh they added this back nice Let's get this. Let's make this the thumbnail. Let's make this the thumbnail. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my second channel, subscribe. This is what Josh doing. I'm out.